So Hogwarts Legacy, to my surprise, has one amazing lock-in combat system, one way more diverse and depthy than I ever could have imagined. The options here, the abilities, the advances, the, the upgrading are absolutely ridiculous and today guys we check out everything you need to know about the combat system and exactly how it works. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so to my surprise, the combat system in Hogwarts Legacy is a beefy one. From what we've seen and what's been showcased from the reveal gameplays, not only does it look incredibly fun, but it's actually way more advanced than I ever thought it could be, or would be, shall I say. So the basics, the hood. It's important to understand what's actually happening on screen and what's on offer here going into combat. Okay, so looking at this screen, uh, the hood from right to left. So firstly, on the far right, we have four spells surrounding that R2 button. As you can see, this on Xbox will be that right trigger button. This is called the spell diamond. And what these are, are slottable spells, which you can swap in and out. There's said to be up to 20 spells you can earn throughout the game. Spells are obviously here, so you can access them quickly in gameplay and going into combat. Now these four spells, these four easy access spells can be changed to suit you. Now to access these spells, you have to hold down that said R2 or right trigger button then press the corresponding button to activate the spell. Now these spells will have a cooldown, so you can't really spam them out on an instant. But as you level up and progress guys, you can reduce your cooldown. Now it's also said as you progress the game guys, you'll be able to add up to four diamonds per slot here giving you the ability to use 16 spells via the spell diamond without swapping spells in and out now exactly how this worked they ain't showcases yet i did hear uh, something in the latest reveal gameplay about you holding down the r2 or right trigger button and pressing left or right on the d-pad and it will swap to four different spells but exactly how it works i'm not certain yet but having 16 on the fly guys for you to use in combat sounds amazing. Now just left of the spell diamond we have our health bar in green. With a number of health potions we have to use and we plan our health at the same time. With that little number next to that icon. The icon above this bar with the two mini bars is the ancient magic spells. These are built up via you hitting enemies and them dropping that blue aura and you collecting it all by doing combos. And when that bar is full you can unleash a devastating spell to your foes. Now on the left shoulder of the spell diamond we see more options with the left and right d-pad icon between them. Pressing right on the d-pad brings up spells which you can quickly add to your spell diamond. This is called the grid so if you want to switch in and out there are spells on that spell diamond you press right on your d-pad. So unlocking them in game guys, earning them, this is where they go. Now they haven't actually revealed this screen yet in any reveal trailer, all they showed was this unclear image you're seeing on screen now. Now pressing left on the d-pad brings up those essential spells that are used in specific moments in gameplay to advance the story or solve certain parts of a puzzle in which they say need to be of an ease of access for that gameplay. So that's interesting. Now the icon next to the minimap is the tool wheel tab which is where you can use buffs and other things to advance you in gameplay which you can brew together and create. They have tweeted out a couple of examples, which you can see on screen now, and also briefly spoke about uh, a couple of these in a second gameplay review. These potions consist of ingredients you will have to find or grow and then brew together to use said potions. Another example of these is the Rock Skin Potion. This gives you a resistance to the incoming damage. There's also another potion called Focus, which will reduce the cooldowns of your spells, which is pretty cool. And no doubt, many, many more, as you see on the screen now, by the snippet I took from the second gameplay review. So in the background now, you are seeing a wizard tee off against waves of enemies within one of the few battle arenas. So to start, it's important to realize you have a standard attack or one shot, which you will use by just simply pressing the R2 or right trigger button. This is used to parry and combo in between spells, which come into play by you holding the same button of R2 or that right trigger, and then pressing the corresponding button to activate a spell. Remember that all these have cooldowns, so the standard shot will come into play for these combos. Hitting enemies you will see will sometimes drop that blue aura like I said and this is the energy that builds up that ancient spell meter bar. 
Combos are said to fill up this bar much, much quicker. Now, once the bar is full, you will see a trigger above the enemy's head, normally L1 or R1 or the triggers on Xbox. Pressing those activates a devastating attack on that enemy you are locked onto. Another thing you may notice are the colored orbs around yourself and the enemies. This comes from the fact spells in this game are categorized and it's seen by the color. The color represents them. You have control spells, force spells, damage spells, etc, etc. This is because not just you, but the enemies use magic in the game as you would expect. Now, when you see, let's say, an enemy with a blue orb around them or a blue shield around them, because that's basically what it is, you will need to use a spell represented by that color to break that shield. And that's the way it works. You may also notice there are glimpses of a halo appearing around your head as the player. This halo indicates an incoming attack, basically your sixth sense. So when the halo appears, if you press that triangle or Y button on the controller, you will activate a block from that said incoming attack. Interestingly though, if you hold that block button, you will also throw a counter attack back at the enemy, which is pretty cool. You may also notice that items are part of the map or sometimes have an icon above them, normally R1 or right trigger. This is because you can add them into your attack by bringing them into the fight, which is pretty cool using that telekinesis. You may also notice a green cross appear on certain enemies too. This is a feature or ability you will unlock called the curse through your talents. Where when you are actually using the curse, you can curse certain enemies, basically tagging them. And when it comes to you using one of those more powerful abilities like the ancient spells, damage will be shared amongst all cursed or tagged enemies. So you can take out multiple enemies at the same time. Now along with this super amazing combat system, the ability to upgrade spec into different things will also be on offer here, so you can play the game literally how you want to. But that's basically it guys on the combat system, it's quite a depth through one, there's still a lot for me to learn, but those are the basics. Now like I said, in regards to the spells, it said there are 20 you can earn throughout the game, but how many can you unlock, how many can you buy, it's probably going to be way way more, but there we have it guys. That is the combat system and the basics of it within Hogwarts Legacy. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.